This is Caitlin Clark from the Indiana Fever. Her team is two and nine. In fact, her team just got thumped by almost 40 points yesterday, and she scored a grand total of three points. I mean, Caitlin Clark is learning the ups and downs of a rookie in professional sports, but they are treating her as, let's face it, the great white hope. And she has gotten a lot of press, more favorit favoritive than anything else. And listen, I'm not here to bash Caitlin Clark as a basketball player. She's This is what is called the rookie blues. This is what happens when you are transitioning, getting used to playing the sport that you have played for many years as a professional. There is a huge gap between college and professional sports. And she's learning that. Now, has she handled it all together well? Um, I would say not really. Number one, her team's two and nine. Number two, she has lashed out at her teammates. And if you've seen some of her games, you have seen this. Which is why when she does get knocked down and get aggressively fouled, and that is part of the game, ladies and gentlemen. It's not, you know, she's a target and, oh my God, what's going to happen? She's not, um, port I mean, she's not porcelain, okay? Just cut it out. She's a professional athlete. You know, what kills me is Angel Reese is not getting the same type of attention. And I don't want to hear, oh, she's not as good as Kate. You know what? Angel Reese has done something that Caitlin Clark didn't win an NCAA championship. Caitlin Clark didn't. So, you know, they're, they're trying to make her the next Larry Bird. And she's nowhere near that talented. And there have been many more talented players before Caitlin Clark. And that's not to say that she isn't talented. I mean, she is a very good long-range shooter, and she's a very good passer. She is a terrible defensive player. She is slow foot and terrible on the defense. She's not a great rebounder. I mean, let's face it, um, there have been people before her that have been much better basketball players, like Sue Bird, for one. I mean, I can think of a million of them. I can think of, of course, Lisa Leslie, Cheryl Swoops, um, obviously um, Cheryl Miller back in the day, um, Lynette Woodard. I mean, there were so many of them. Cynthia Cooper, so many. The McGee Twins if you want to go back to um, the USC days, who were um, teammates of um, Cheryl Miller's. I mean, there was a lot of them. Shamika Holesclaw, Holesclaw, excuse me. So many. But they did not garner the attention that this woman has. And we know why. But um, it's amazing how Angel Reese's team is much, have, are much better in the standings than um, this woman who's supposed to be able to elevate her team. I mean, let's face it. We judge a lot of our athletes by the amount of championships that they won, and this woman has won nothing. Oh, excuse me. Absolutely nothing. And obviously, she's not a finished product. So is, this will be a better thing to talk about maybe two or three years down the line. Because they still have to build a team around her. I mean, right now they're two and nine, but she gets zero to blame. Which, if you are the face of the team and the face of the WNBA, you need to be winning right away. Look at what LeBron James did when he came straight out of high school for the Cleveland Cavaliers. As you can see, uh, Miss Clark has not had that effect. So, to me, she is severely overrated. That's not to say that she will not be a very good basketball player. I mean, she is a very good shooter, but as far as overall skill, she is mediocre at best. Nobody wants to say that, but I will. And I hope that she does well for her sake, her and her team's sake, and for the sake of the WNBA, because, let's face it, they have put all their chips on the table and put them towards Caitlin Clark. 
But by doing that, we're missing out on a very good, solid season from Angel Reese as a rookie and many more rookies that have come through this draft. And this is, again, not to, you know, pile on Caitlin because, let's face it, she is a huge reason why the WNBA is even being talked about. But let's pump the brakes here and not make it sound like she's um, the Michael Jordan or the Kareem or the Magic Johnson of the WNBA. She's not. And she has a long way to even get to that. But again, they're only 11 games in. So we'll see what happens if she can even lead the Fever. Right now, the goal is to get her team to 500. I mean, that is the realistic goal because right now they're 2-9. and nine. I mean, she has to worry about wins and not worry so much about jacking up shots. As you can see, she only scored three points um, the last game. Three, that's abysmal for anybody, but especially a Caitlin Clark. And right now, she's more Adam Morrison than Larry Bird. Who is Adam Morrison? Exactly. But if you take the chance, Google him. He used to be a very good player out of college, out of Gonzaga, who was a terrible professional player. But nevertheless, it'll be interesting to see what happens going forward with Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever. Uncle Claude signing out. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Take care and stay safe and Let's hope you play a lot better than you did last game, Caitlin.